Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to our, our virtual, uh, virtual uh, pre-lab lecture. Uh, today we are going to uh, go through the uh, theory on uh, calculating equilibrium constant or uh, Kc value in a chemical reaction um, in dynamic equilibrium. This is continuation of uh, Legertelia's principle, which uh, we looked at in chapter, uh, not chapter, but uh, lab number six, lab number six. Uh, this is the shortest and the easiest uh, lab. I don't think even I'll spend uh, 30 minutes because I know some of you, you are taking the course or you took the course before and uh, you are familiar with the equilibrium um, uh, calculation of equilibrium uh, constant. Uh, if we have an equation such as this, uh, generic equation on my white uh, my whiteboard, uh, A uh, reacting with uh, uh, B uh, in dynamic equilibrium with uh, C, uh, and uh, D, uh, where lowercase letters stand for dynamic, uh, where lowercase letters stand for the coefficient in the Palast equation, uh, the Kc value, which you are going to calculate in this lab, is determined by the concentration of the products, all right, uh, raised to some coefficient in the Palast equation of a concentration of the uh, reagents. Uh, using this as, um, as an example, uh, Kc or Kq for this equation is uh, C, concentration of uh, C raised to C, which is the coefficient in the balanced equation, uh, times the concentration of D raised to D over concentration of uh, a raised to letter A, which is the coefficient in the balanced equation, D raised to P, coefficient in the balanced equation. Uh, these are the, uh, this is the Kc or Kc expression, or rather the law of mass action expression. Uh, if you took note of the physical state, this is aqueous, aqueous. If it is solid, we do not include in the Kc expression. If it is a uh, liquid, we do not include those. Pay attention if you are taking the course right now, don't, bet, uh, don't let those uh, easy questions uh, throw you off the balance in answering them that, you know, somebody might give you an expression with the solid, with the liquid and say, what is the Kc expression for this? And the liquid are part of the expression, no we do not include solids, we do not include uh, liquid. Gases, you can talk about the equilibrium pressure, all right? You can talk about the equilibrium pressure. So aqueous phase only are used in calculating the equilibrium expression. So there are two parts uh, in this lab, today's lab, all right? There are two parts. Part one is given the given the dynamic equilibrium equation, such as this, are you able to write the Kc expression? That's what you will be doing in part one. And then you take a picture of, uh, you know, you are set up, which you will insert or paste it on the data sheet, all right? Part one is uh, taking a picture of the, you know, the expression. Let me show you, this is part one in, or no, part two, what you see on this right side of the screen is part two, but for part one, writing the equilibrium expression. Similar to what I just showed you on the whiteboard here, you will be rewriting. So if this is my question one or equilibrium one, I'll just take a picture and put it right here. For two, I'll take a picture right here. For three and so forth. So you have about what? You have about uh, six equilibrium, uh, seven equilibrium expression, which you'll have to take a picture and put it right there. You can save it on the desktop and save it as PDF and you'll send it to me. 
uh, by submitting online. Uh, well, where are you going to uh, get the simulation? It is just right here. You want to make sure that uh, you are able to uh, play and uh, drag. Let's see, what is it telling me? Let me allow, all right. Uh, hopefully you will not run into any problem. So if this is the case, what will be, all right? What will be the KC expression? Remember, you got to uh, build your KC expression similar to what I showed you in the whiteboard by, all right, by dragging the reagent and product to their respective position on KC expression right here. I'm just gonna do show you an example. This is product. So it's gonna just be at the top right there. And then uh, reactant, remember the concentration. And uh, this one uh, comes down here. You can drag it if you, you don't want, you know, like it's gone. I can bring it back down here. And uh, you can drag the coefficient as well. I can just mess up and say, let me just put right there. All right, I'll just build my uh, equilibrium expression. All right, you can, uh, you can check right here and see, oh, incorrect, something is wrong. You know what I did that, why it's not uh, right? So if you see that it is correct, and then you'll take a picture of this. You'll take a picture of whatever you have in there and, uh, you know, put it in the box for, all right, put it in the box for the equilibrium expression, equilibrium expression. That's what you'll be doing in part, uh, part one. There will be, this is not the only dynamic equilibrium equation. This is not the only dynamic equilibrium expression, all right? Uh, I do have uh, quite a number of uh, dynamic equilibrium expression, seven of them. So you ask is to, you ask is to uh, take a picture, you know, you construct drag and drop, drag and drop. If there is a coefficient in the balanced equation, you have to raise that to that reagent or product. Any question on part one? It's just simple as that. I know you know the equilibrium expression. Any question on one? Cynthia, any question? Some folks join us, uh, all right? Some folks came in uh, late. Any question on part one? Part one is just writing the equilibrium expression and taking a picture and uh, you will attach to the data sheet. Data sheet is right here. You will take a picture and paste it here from the simulation. Any question on part one? If there's no question, if there's no question, we will move on to uh, the actual calculation now of the equilibrium expression which is the same as part one, uh, except we have to plug in uh, the value. So this is part one, all right, or part A. Let me just be specific here. This is part, uh, part one, this is part one. This is taking a picture. It doesn't take 30 minutes to do this. Now, uh, part two is uh, a simulation on how to calculate the equilibrium expression what you will do is you'll find the concentration of the product, all right? You'll find the concentration of the product, concentration of the reagent, and uh, concentration of the reagents and product and plug it in this equation. Uh, if you just join, uh, somebody just join in, uh, you will, uh, in part one, I was just showing you how you use the simulation here to construct the, to construct the equilibrium constant expression from the, uh, from the species in the equation and take a picture and paste it on the data sheet. Let's see part two here. I'm just gonna look at this. Uh, part uh, 
ถึงพาร์ทยูวิลคัลคูลเลตถ้าคุณรู้ถึงความสำเร็จของคุณผลิตภัณฑ์ของคุณและความคาดหมายในสถิติของคุณคุณสำเร็จของคุณผลิตภัณฑ์You will calculate how many of them. Let me see. Uh, you have to calculate. Is it seven of them? Yes, seven of them too. All right. You cannot calculate. Uh, if it's uh, there is run one, uh, run two, uh, run uh, that's run three and uh, run what? Uh, run oh three runs. All right. There's run one, right? This is post lab. Don't worry about the post lab. I've seen some questions. Attached to the data sheet, post lab will be in the post lab uh, folder. Don't worry about answering the post lab right here. I will remove the post lab from the data sheet and put it in the post lab folder. So there will be how many runs? There is run one, run two, run three, four, part two. Run one, uh, all right, run one, run two, run three. What does this run mean? All right, if you look at the ice table here, all right, you know what ice table stand for. Initial concentration, uh, change in concentration, and then equilibrium concentration. Equilibrium concentration are the concentration we will plug it in this equation to calculate the equilibrium constant. If we know the equilibrium concentration of all these species, and then uh, we should be able to find a numerical value for Kc equilibrium constant or uh, you know Keq. It is the same thing. And please show you our calculation. Look at the rubric. I always put a rubric on uh, each data sheet. That okay. You're gonna take uh, get 20 points by showing me the what? The calculation. Let's look at the simulation and I'll give you the values, all right? I'll give you the values for this part two, what you will be working at. Remember there are three runs, run one, run two, run three. This is what you will do on uh, run one, all right? Or run two or run three. I'll pick a number or numbers for what? For simulation, you see this is for concentration of the concentration of ion 3 ion and uh, ion or tau cyanide ion to form ion 3 tau cyanide ion. Uh, this will show you, uh, the graph will, which will be generated here will show you when the system is at equilibrium when the system is at equilibrium. Uh, it will be of this form. Look at uh, the white code. It's gonna come down this way and this will go up. Initially, we don't have this. Initially, we don't have this uh, species before we mix iron three and diocyanate, the concentration is zero, zero. Watch what will happen here. If I, all right, if I increase the concentration to say uh, nine to six, for example, or uh, I can put nine to six right there and then put the concentration to uh, nine to six. Look at what is happening. I'm gonna put it at nine to six. I want this just to be the same. Oh, this is nine to five, should be nine to six. All right. Look at uh, down here, the concentration of uh, the reagents corresponds to what I do have here. Initially, before the reaction start, the concentration of the product is zero. At some time, uh, at some point, you will see the concentration of the product increasing, while these two will decrease. Final concentration here, this is what we will use to calculate our equilibrium constant. I will start the reaction and you should hold 
all right? You should hold until you know that the system is at equilibrium. How will you know? When there is no more change in concentration in the final concentration, when there is no change right here. And you can also see the graph. If the graph is just coming down, it's going up, it will flatten or it will just be uh, a flat uh, curve, meaning that there is no change in concentration of the product. The system has reached equilibrium. Let's see. This is just a sample. I will, I'm holding on the re, uh, I'm holding on my mouse. I don't see any change in concentration. I just release. I say stop. At this point, I know the reaction is no longer. Uh, I mean the concentration for the product and uh, reactants the concentration of the product and the reagents are no longer changing. At this point, we say that the system is at dynamic equilibrium. This is the final concentration I will need to calculate my uh, Kc constant. This is the product, all right? So if I want to, since small ratio is one to one, all right, since small ratio is one to one in this particular example, uh, the concentration of concentration of ion to the cyanide, this is ion two positive, all right, is 4.18 times 10 raised to negative three uh, molar concentration of uh, cyanide, all right, is 5.42, not the initial, times 10 raised to what? Negative three and uh, ion three. Ion uh, is 5.42 times 10 raised to negative three. So let me just uh, close this and I'll show you how you will fill in the data sheet. How you will fill in the data sheet uh, I wanted to get this right here and uh, show you the data sheet. This is what you're going to plug in. You will now fill in this information here that uh, the concentration of Maybe I need to minimize this so that at least you see what I'm talking about. The concentration of, you're gonna write the initial concentration. I started with nine, 0 0.96, so I'm just gonna put it in here, what you started with, all right? And uh, what, you end up with uh, this is zero, zero. Equilibrium, these are the equilibrium concentration which will come in this table right here for each reagent. All right, so you will have the concentration for ion three, the concentration for diocyanate, the concentration for ion three. For ion three, it's just right here. For diocyanate, it's right here. Remember, these were final. And uh, for this, it's gonna, this is what you will need to plug now in the K equilibrium expression product, which is the concentration of, uh, it's not even the concentration, you just plug in the values. You plug in the values, uh, 4.18 times 10 raised to negative three of uh, concentration, it's the same thing, 5.42 times 10 raised to negative three, uh, this is a square, and you have yourself x, x, x. That is the value uh, for K equilibrium or Kc, four run one, four run two, four run three. You have three runs, and remember to, uh, remember to show the calculation. You may attach. You may not have enough space here, all right? This space here may not be enough for you. If you attach extra sheet of paper, say this is run one calculation. Uh, screenshot, once the graph flatten out, once you have the concentration of your species on the simulation, 
uh, you take the screenshot and you're just gonna put it here. This is a screenshot of time versus concentration. Uh, this is what I want you to use in, uh, these are the concentration, run one. You're gonna use this, run one, start with 100. That is the concentration. Uh, run what? Uh, run two. All right, uh, use uh, 80 of each of the species. Run what? Uh, run three. Uh, use uh, 60 uh, molar concentration of your starting the 18. I use 96, but I've given you what you need to use for run one. It is 100. All right, that is the concentration of your uh, species in run one. Uh, run two is eight, and uh, run three is uh, six. I don't see run four, so you only have uh, run, uh, run one, run two, run three. I think uh, there is uh, hold on, there is run if I'm not wrong. If I'm not wrong, let's see. I think I do have more than uh, that. I could be wrong. Let me make sure that you know we have all the uh, runs. Run one, run two. This is the same thing we did. So they should be run one, run two, run three. So there'll be three runs. Three runs. All right. And that will be it for uh, our lab today. That will be it for our lab today. If there is no uh, question, all right, uh, if there is no question, uh, yes, somebody asked a question. So these are the concentration for, yes, thank you, Cynthia. That is, a, uh, that is the concentration for both. You will drag both of them to 100, and then you hold on to run, it's gonna run until you see the curve is flat. And then you just release, it will stop. Once there is no more reaction being produced. Yes, you are right. I'll drag to 100 of them, otherwise the reaction will not, you should start with the same concentration. Next time I'll drag to 80. Next time I'll drag to 60 and then press the start. You'll get the equilibrium concentration. You have to calculate the change in concentration. Take a picture of that. And uh, that will be it. Any other question? Any other question? Uh, what I want to uh, point to you is that uh, we are done with the, we are almost half, or we are in the middle of the semester. I will make the uh, quiz available for uh, experiment number four, uh, number five, and what I'm going to do, unlike the first set of uh, quizzes, is uh, somehow give you the study guide. You can use any resource you may have uh, to prepare for the quiz before you get started with the quiz. Because don't rely on you know the uh, handout online, which comes with the lab experiment. You may need to use other uh, other resources to prepare yourself for the quiz. So I will uh, make the quiz available for four, five, and six equilibrium, even seven, what we are doing today, because it's pretty much straightforward. Calculating the equilibrium constant. Given equilibrium constant, are you able to calculate the equilibrium concentration and so forth? So uh, if you're on the lookout, I will make the quiz available and give you the uh, time to complete those. Any other? Yes, I'll post a due date. Look, I'll post a due date probably sometimes next week. I'll give you some time to complete those, all right? Any other question? If there is no question, uh, if you uh, run into problem with the, uh, you may want to conduct the IT. I know sometimes maybe if you try to play the simulation, it might not play or work on your uh, laptop or computer. Uh, make sure that uh, you conduct the IT or just let me know and we'll see what we can do. Uh, other than that, uh, I will end the 
uh, Zoom session, uh, you are on your own, uh, you can get done right now. It doesn't take 20 minutes to complete uh, today's lab, except maybe calculation, which may take some time, all right? This lab is due next week, all right? Uh, next uh, Wednesday, along with the pre lab for next week, all right? Uh, other than that, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'll see you uh, same time uh, next week. Thank you.